mean, I want to be fair, though. It's really David's story. Like, I helped him with it, but it's his story, you know. And, um, uh, you know, we've done a couple of films um, together, The Fighter and American Hustle. And, um, <clears throat> and then, uh, actually, it, it back around, like, American Hustle time, he did come to me for a different idea he had uh, with a character. Um, and then that sort of just faded away. gives me a buzz and we met at a, a nice uh, old greasy spoon diner called the early world that we used to meet at which sadly has closed down now um, and it's where we always met whenever we would talk about maybe making a project together starting with the fighter and he sat me down and he wanted to talk all about um, the Dulles uh, brothers and um, and so we talked a bit about that and then and then you know the way David works it's not like a linear thing he's he's got like all these ideas sort of satellites going around um but i love the way he thinks and i love working with him um and uh you know we knew we had a you know a good um working relationship and we like the results he's somebody who's who's been through hell but he's a real optimist you know that's the thing like he's you know the mantras were kind of eyebrows up and um this sort of a, a, a wonderful uh, openness to life, refusing to go numb, uh, you know, from his experiences. Um, and also remember, this is obviously set like, you know, depression era America, so tough, tough times. Um, and equally with, you know, the advent of fascism in Europe and, um, and many Americans, you know, look into that and say, well, it's successful economically, you know, and many, many um, business interests, American business interests are wanting to imitate um, that fascism um, uh, uh, in, within America, um, so coming from tough times, and uh, but his, uh, you know, it's, it's what's, it's what I love about him so much. Is he is a he's a real scrapper and a real fighter, um, but uh, but absolutely tries to, um, you know, stop uh, stop um, uh, negative emotions of anger, etc., from from overtaking him despite it, it being completely understandable. So he's a very inspiring guy, you know, in that way. Uh, first, uh, Bert and Harold, who were, who were looking out for each other, make a pact, you know, to look out for each other uh, in the war. Um, and, then, and then they are treated by this nurse who appears out of nowhere and is pulling metal out of them, you know, the shrapnel and stuff, and making art out of it. And she seems wacky and, and nuts, and they love her for that. Um, and then they form a pact, the three of them, and then they have these kind of halcyon days in, uh, in Amsterdam, and hence that's why David and me always just called it Amsterdam, and then we went through a variety of different names instead of it, and then just came back to like, well, we always called it Amsterdam, let's leave it at that, it's great. Uh, so um, uh, they have these halcyon days there uh, for all of them, and then for varying reasons, Bert has to get back to the States, and then it all kind of falls apart. You know, and then and then and then you see the three of them um, unexpectedly reuniting many years later, but caught in the middle of this uh, uh, this crime that they're accused of, that feels like a small thing, but ends up being this bloody, you know, global, yeah, really global sized conspiracy. The satisfaction of seeing something from the absolute birth of sitting in early world with David, with him going, I've got an idea, and let's talk about the Dulles brothers. And then they had nothing to do with the film, right? So we moved on from that. But just knowing and seeing it, and seeing him gradually building that story, and my input about Bert, and who Bert was, and that, ah, it's wonderfully satisfying, you know? It's, it's truly kind of, as we, we called it, baked in. Like it was just sort of, when you, when you prep for that long, oh man, it's just in your bones.